AI Max Tools helps you get better engineering results by working smarter, faster, and better with PTC Creo Elements Direct and Co-Create Modeling. We do this by starting with an innovative set of tools, working with our customers, and using their feedback to make our products even better. Just like a fully stocked toolbox or a multifunction knife help you to get your job done more effectively, we do the same thing for your CAD system. We have a wide variety of functions and we support multiple versions from the current version all the way back to version 15 with new functionality for all of those. We have three primary focus areas, 3D concept modeling, data exchange, and CAD migration. For concept modeling, there are many useful functions, including part and feature duplication, controlling what you see on the screen, renaming parts and assemblies, creating and positioning work planes, replacing one part with another, assigning part numbers, and much more. Let's take a look at how we can duplicate a part and its associated feature in a single operation using AI Max Share. We'll start AI Max Share and you can see that there are multiple options available here. In this case, we'll use the two points in a direction method. For our source object, we'll select the part. We'll make sure our duplicate feature option is turned on and select that feature. For our source point, we'll catch the center of this top edge using Control Shift. Our destination point catch the center of this washer using the same method and then we specify a direction and that point is projected along that direction. We can see the distance, we can just say next and then select our next point and it's immediately projected. We say next. If we wanted to go halfway in between those last two points we just choose AI bisect and select those last two edges. This gives us a virtual midpoint that is then projected along the destination direction with no work planes, measuring, or construction geometry required. With AI Max Share, it's that easy. For data exchange, we can export 3D objects, 2D data files, or create a bill of material with images. Let's look at how we would export some 3D data. We start up AI Max Export. We select this small assembly, and we have control over what we want to export, where we want the export files to go, what export types, in this case, step, e-drawings, and package, how we want our file to be named, we can use model name, part name, and revision, and choose the order in which we want them, as well as extra text, in this case, quote, and then we have an option for individual zip files, which means one zip file will be created for each object containing all of the different formats. We can do a preview and see the three different files for each object. Then all we need to do is click on Save Files and we'll get a real-time status update. In this case, we will accelerate it by a factor of four. When it finishes, we see that it took 19 seconds. We can open the destination directory and see our four zip files. If we open one of those, we can see the three formats for that object. With AI Max Export, it's that easy. For CAD migration, there may be a number of different things we need to do, including replacing existing parts with our library parts. For example, this assembly was created by a subcontractor, and we need to replace the nine capacitors on the board with this capacitor from our library. The first thing we need to do is to position that part, the new part, directly on top of one of the reference parts that we want to replace. So we'll use AI Universal Move by two points, specify the source object, the source point, and the destination point, and we're finished. Now we'll start up AI Replace Part. We'll select our new object, our first reference object that goes with it, and then we'll say that we want to replace everything that's shared in the assembly. We'll do a scan, and we'll see that those nine capacitors are highlighted in their various orientations and we just say OK and it's finished. It's replaced them exactly the way they should be. So there are many benefits to the AI Max Tools suite. Not only can you complete your design in less time with higher design quality and a more accurate bill of material, but it's also very easy to learn and use and it makes designing fun again. Thanks for watching.